Hi, I moved to Korea. <laughs> I'm sorry I look like a mess, but it's okay because it's quarantine. I'm almost reaching the two week mark of my quarantine. So I just want to recap how I got here. I'm currently a teacher through the Seoul Metropolitan Office of Education and I came here through Epic. So Epic, they deal with the public school sectors. The requirements for Epic aren't that crazy. It's just you just need a bachelor's degree in any subject. My degree is in psychobiology. If your degree is not in teaching, then you do need to get a TEFL. So that's a certificate in which um, you're certified to teach English as a foreign language. It wasn't that bad. Um, it was only like 20 to $30 off Groupon and I did the 120 hour certificate. You need to be from seven of the English speaking countries. They do have their website where they list all their qualifications and stuff. So I'll just put that in the bio. <laughs> in terms of actually applying for the program, what you do is you go through an application process first. And so the application process includes lesson plan, three essays, two letter recommendations, the criminal background check, and your diploma. There's two intakes, spring and fall. I applied in February and I'm here in August. But if you want to get here in February, you apply in August. After you turn in your application, you kind of just wait around for a while. And then you get emailed if you got an interview or not. Once you do your interview, you answer like questions. Um, the questions aren't that bad, it's just like why you want to do teaching, situational type questions, your teaching philosophy, questions along those lines. Within that week, they tell you whether or not you got it. And then if you get it, then you have to mail in your application. And honestly, that was the hardest part for me. It was a hot mess, but we got through that. And then you mail out your application. I think I paid 59 to send all my applications to Korea. Your coordinator will message you and be like, okay, we got your documents, you're all set. Um, we're gonna like send it out basically to the Office of Education. You can put a placement preference, but it won't mean that you get it. The first time I ever applied, I ended up withdrawing my application for that intake, but the first time I ever applied, I was like, oh, I don't know if I wanna put Seoul because if I don't get it, and since it's super competitive, then I'm just gonna end up being put into like a random city that I may not like as much, so maybe I should just apply for a less competitive placement. This time when I applied, I was like, you know what, just, I'm gonna just go for it. I'm just gonna go for Seoul because that's where I wanna be because I like the city life. And when I was reading stuff, people were like, oh, you have to have like experience. Um, you have to have more experience if you wanna get into Seoul, but like I don't really have that much teaching experience. So I was like, I don't know, don't let them scare you if you want Seoul. Like if you wanna just put it and then like either way, you're not guaranteed your placement. So for me, I was like, nothing to lose. <laughs> In terms of my background, I guess, I'll just expand on that. I used to do Kumon <laughs> tutoring, and I did that back in high school for, I think, one or two years. And then when I went to college, I did an elementary school teaching internship um, for one quarter. And so that's about 10 weeks or 11 weeks. I also did private tutoring for a year and a half. But I've never had, I guess, like actual in which I was the head teacher teaching experience. There's definitely like a large range of teachers that get accepted and it ranges from just graduate college to like seven years of teaching experience or more. So don't get discouraged or anything like that. If you have some form of interest in teaching and you're able to expand on that in your essays and your letter of recommendations can attest for that, I think you're good to go. Super excited to be here. Um, I've always wanted to teach abroad and what better time to do it than right after I graduate. So yeah, the clips after this are just going to be my journey from home to Korea and then the TV quarantine. This is my last full day in the US, which is kind of crazy. So today is just going to be a day of like running little errands, getting COVID tested, getting food, last minute packing, printing out things for quarantine and arrival instructions. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So today I got blue bowls, but it's these acai bowls, they look like this, they're so good. Also kind of, kind of sad that fruit is expensive in Korea. Yeah. And then I also got seven leaves, so I got an oolong milk tea for myself, and then I also got mung bean for my sister. Yeah, exciting. We done, 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 We're here. <laughs> oh my god, look at my pimple patch. It's falling off because I'm sweating. <laughs> Hello, this is Lena. Hi. We reached the end. We're getting help from an epic worker yeah. to get to our taxi. But that's how the quarantine process works. There's just a lot of checkpoints. 
It is very tiring. So we checked into quarantine. We're at Hotel Sky Park. This is what the lobby looks like. This is Dose. Wait, Dose or Doce? Or how do you like Either one. Welcome to my quarantine facility. So when you walk in on your right, you put your key here and it basically activates all the lights and AC in the room. And then if you go to your right, there's a restroom, there's a bidet, and then regular sink, they give you towels here. And there's a bathtub and not a wet room, so I'm super happy about that. And to your left, I have this view. I'm in a corner, so I have like a double view, I guess. And then there's a big space right here that has nothing, so I just put my suitcases there. And then there's a twin size bed and a TV. And then there's a, like a closet space right here. Oh, there's a robe and more towels and coffee and a kettle and tea and cups too. Oh, they even have a blow dryer in here. That's so nice. Oh, and hangers. Okay, beautiful. And there's just a chair here and a bigger mirror here. Look at this. Why is it so nice? It's crazy. Yeah, I'm really happy with how my room is and I have a lot of room to like work out and stuff, which is what I'm trying to do. And also I didn't buy any snacks even though they let us stop at the convenience store because I'm trying to like not snack. But they did give us breakfast, so I'm gonna show you that now. We got fruit rings. I'm pretty sure these are the same as fruit loops, right? And then we got Milk, mayo, uyu, and also I got grapefruit juice. Yeah. And they also gave a muffin and peaches and a little spoon. Why? Is this sounds so good to me. I'm like, Fruit Loops? <laughs> it's so stupid. I oh, don't know. I'm so excited. Look at this. So it's 10 a.m. on the first day, so I'm just gonna fill out my diagnose sheet so my temperature was i just took it with this it was 36.1 so 36.1 and okay it's off so you do that two times a day i think i was just wearing hopefully i can get it on camera one day but i'm gonna go get it i think it's my lunch hopefully because i'm so hungry what lunch looks like so can't tell this is i think these are fish cakes pasta kimchi a salad a different type of kimchi like braised beef i think um beans <laughs> oh cutlet it's a fried cutlet and then rice it looks so good let me show you my trash separating process because I'm so confused. Okay, so there's a small bag for food waste. I have all my food waste in here, which is kind of nasty. I'll probably, I don't know, it's kind of gross. And then we have recyclables, so I think I'm gonna make this my plastics. So like this, you gotta separate. I honestly don't know if they were saying that we have to separate like papers and plastics or if like recyclables all go together. Shoot. Is this cardboard or plastic? So hard. So for this meal, we have curry and rice, and also I'm watching a typical, which is my favorite show. So I'm super excited because the season just came out. So it's 6:53 a.m. and we just got our breakfast. So frosted flakes. <laughs> I actually really like cereal, so I'm kind of excited for that. An oven baked donut. Let's see. Porridge. It comes in a Tupperware container. That's so cute. It's my first COVID test day. Um, they just gave us a call and they're basically like, oh, they're gonna come. And I think this is our first one and we're also gonna have a second one in the on the last day or the day before the last day. And I'm just here waiting for them to come and knock on my door. The worst COVID test I've ever taken. It was so bad. But now I'm gonna work out. I'm trying to beat the lunchtime because right now it's 11.47. 
and lunch is supposed to come at like 11.30 but normally it comes at like 12ish. I just finished my workout. I'm watching Love Alarm. Good morning. So yesterday night, I was under the table trying to plug in my converter and I bumped my head on this thing. So it popped my pimple, unfortunately. So now there's a big red dot on my head and there was a slight bump yesterday but I think it went away for the most part. But that's my update. And so since I was so distraught about that, I didn't even vlog about dinner. But we had spicy chicken and it was pretty good. But breakfast is now here. It's, I believe, 7. So today I opted for the fruit and veggie version, but I wish I didn't because I thought today was porridge, but it's actually sandwiches. So that's unfortunate. But we got oranges and then nuts, imitation crab, tomatoes, salad. Um, we have a dressing for the salad right here. And then they also give you snacks when you choose the fruits and veggie option. I'm to working out today while watching the epic orientation videos. video. Sometimes but here I am before doing like crunches. But yeah, this is how I pass time. For dinner today, it's I believe stir fried pork. And then there's green onion I believe, sausages, kimchi, like a pasta salad, and fish cake. And then it comes with a little bean sprout soup and rice. I'm okay, going on FaceTime. This is Andre. But I wanted to vlog my experience with this edamame milk. <laughs> I think it's actually black bean milk because I try to translate it and it says black bean milk. But on here it's edamame. So I'm not sure. Fun. Fun. It tastes like peanut butter milk to me. So I think it's really good. But everyone else thinks it's bad, I guess. Dinner's here. I'm actually starting Teen Wolf because they have it on Korean Netflix. And I watched it a long time ago, but I don't remember anything. So I'm going to rewatch it. And today we have, I think that's like some beef stir fry thing. Or pork. I'm not really sure. Fish cake, kimchi. Um, I think that's like onions and mayonnaise little anchovies and like something that kind of looks like mapo tofu but I'm not exactly sure it also came with the soup and rice yay where are they? over here you hear how loud these cicadas are? oh my god I'm unravel with D can they hear me? yeah yeah out of the tents and the dark <laughs> That's right now because I just worked out but today is day seven so that is the halfway point of quarantine so what I decided to do today is do some laundry I did it in my bathtub I basically just poured water in here and then used some soap to like wash my clothes I don't think it's that big of a deal I probably could survive without it but I don't want to keep dirty clothes when I'm at orientation and stuff but it's in the bathtub and I'm hanging it to dry on like the towel hanger I don't know if that's smart, but I have a towel on the bottom to catch the drippings. And I'm also watching like orientation videos right now as well. So it's kind of nice to just multitask right now. Lunch actually looks so good. It's rice with, there's pickles, radish kimchi, uh, fish cake, beans, and then sweet and sour chicken. I'm pretty sure this is like young, young yum or something like that. And then there's a salad with sesame dressing and apple juice. I'm so excited. It looks so good. <laughs> If we want a receipt. So oh yeah, yeah. For your taxes? Yeah. But I think we're just like... Drying on all my possible teacher outfits. And look at how wrinkly my clothes are. So I'm gonna hang it in here so that I can take hot showers and hopefully it'll steam it. This lunch is so interesting. It's like potato, carrot, broccoli, pepperoni, sausage. There's also sausage and then seaweed and then pasta. And then they gave us orange juice today and rice. Odd. So I'm trying the little sausage pepperoni thing and it really tastes like a pizza just without the dough. It's kind of good in a way, but also weird. But this pasta is literally like ketchup sauce. I really don't like it. Today's lunch, it's duck and then honey mustard dressing, corn, beef patty, eggs, tofu, and then we get like this, what I think is like Hawaiian, Hawaii, blue. I don't know what that is. It's like an orange, lemon, pineapple drink. Rice, and then I'm watching What's Wrong with Secretary Kim. I 
I started trying on possible outfits for orientation. Can you see? <laughs> I picked out like a lot. Um, some are more formal or some are more casual depending. I'm gonna wear this there. And then when I get there, I'm gonna see like what the vibe is because I'm not really sure what they mean by like because they're like, oh, you can be casual the first day, but then be smart casual the second, third, fourth day. But I don't really know if it's like jean and shirt or like blouse and jeans. But I'm picking out oh, my, my food is here. Let me go get it. It's here. <laughs> Today we got stew. I think it's potato and zucchini maybe. A uh, ham, meatballs, kimchi, macaroni salad, and anchovies. And it came with rice and then what I think is like a miso soup. Right? So I can never say the, 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 or let's say this is a soccer team. So and shirahyo to say what you like and what you learn is very good express what every single time we have to take those covid tests it hurts so bad it's only been twice but it's still memorable cuz it <laughs> it's the last covid test for quarantine so i'm happy that that's over with now god my nostrils hurt so we reached the last full day of quarantine. Now I basically fixed my sleeping schedule. Before I was sleeping at like 8 p.m. and then waking up at like 3 a.m. But now I'm usually sleeping around like 11 p.m. and then waking up at 7 a.m. Which I think is like the perfect school sleep schedule. So I'm pretty excited for that because I've never had a fixed sleep schedule before. But breakfast just came. I literally switched today to the sandwich because it's just so good. I've been getting the veggie and fruit um, platter. But I just switched to regular. It's like chicken and mayo and then tomato and lettuce. And we got fruit rings. I'm gonna save that for tomorrow since we're not getting lunch. And then we got limeade, milk for the cereal, potato chips, they're barbecue flavored, peaches, donut, rice crackers, and chocolate pie. I think I missed two days, but that's okay. This is gonna be my last workout for a while because I think the orientation spot, the rooms are kind of small. But yeah, I'm gonna do this one and then I'm gonna do Bretman Rock's app workout. It's the last lunch of quarantine. So today we have beef and mushroom, like a honey sweet cake thing, like it's a dessert. Radish kimchi, anchovies, garlic shoots, and um, shredded pork. And then mango juice and rice. Yum. Wow. So congratulations on your application submission. How do you this feel? Was, um, I feel really good. I hope this is the last time I'm ever nervous. I'll never Yay. be anxious anymore. Moving forward, so. Wow. It's done. For our last dinner, we're having sausage, quail eggs, kimchi, macaroni salad, another type of kimchi, and black bean sauce with rice and seaweed soup. Oh, then. That's the end of quarantine, basically, which is kind of crazy. Low-key wish it was longer because I was kind of having a good time not doing anything without any responsibilities, but it's fine. <laughs> Tomorrow I'm leaving around 1.40 to 2. We're taking a bus to our orientation location, but yeah, we're all done. And next time I'll see you, I'll be in orientation. Bye!